Good evening, Mr. West Coast. Good evening, Mr. East Coast. What, what, what do we got going on here? We got, we got a we little bit of silliness a, here. We have a cornucopia, which is my new favorite word, of things on my island here. All kinds of stuff, because it's almost Halloween. Your favorite holiday, isn't it? No, Say not it. really. Say it. No, no, I don't like it. I just I don't get you it. Don't. I mean, you know what? I don't get it either. Here's, here's what I don't like about it. Talk to me. We, we, we wind up with like a ton of candy. Yes. And me, he who is weak, eats it all. It is the it is the holiday of the week. It is. And I'm weak. Let me tell you, I'm weak. I'm but so you know weak. What, but you know what's not weak? Is this a those, rhetorical question? No, no. This is, this is, there's an actual answer to this question. Oh, what? what? Uh, you see those three bottles of booze that we got? I do. None of that's weak. No. No siree. No. So, Isn't it weird so how they here's, disappeared? I know. Isn't it awesome? You know what's amazing? We didn't really plan this, and we had the same whiskeys. Correct. Which is great. This is pure... Synchronicity? Synchronicity. Serendipity? Synchronicity, Isn't serendipity. It? You got the cornucopia, but you know what we have here? A smorgasbord we of chocolate this, and whiskey. It is a Swedish uh, smorgasbord for twelve ninety nine. all you can eat and drink. There you go, man. There you go. So, yeah, so this all stemmed from our little chat on Twitter. So we were like talking and going back and forth, and you said you wanted what, a baby Ruth to go with your whiskey? Yes, I did say that. So we got three Baby Ruths. We got three whiskeys. I want to find out which of these whiskeys goes best with a Baby Ruth. I love this kind of experiment. Right? I love this. This is science. So we're not reviewing the whiskey. Nope. And we're not really reviewing the chocolate. We're reviewing nope. how they go together. We're reviewing the pairing. It's like matchmaking. It's like matchmaking without your grandmother. Yes. You, you're like a Yenta. I am like a Yenta <laughs> with chocolate. <laughs> See? There you go. That's what we're doing. We're pairing whiskey and chocolate as opposed to, you know, somebody's nephew and somebody else's niece. Right. When they, and they're going to hate each other anyway, and it won't last, right. and it'll be ugly, and then there's a divorce, and it's just, it's just not working. It's not worth it. But here's the beauty of that, though. You got, you got a lot of money changing hands. You got the money it's for true. the – you got the wedding. You got all the wedding presents. You got the honeymoons. You got the reception. And then you got the divorce, which you is know who more make, money. You know who makes money? It's all those middlemen. That's that right. Make, that's who makes the money. I know. And, and what are we? We're middlemen, right? You're we a middleman. Middle middle that's Same. right. So that's okay. We just, you know, we need, we need, our, we need our, our VIG. What's the VIG? For so, us, the VIG is Baby Ruth Bars. There you go. All right. So let's, let's get into this. We got three whiskeys, we, we, which we just happen to have the same. We've got the Glenfiddich 15. We have the High West Double Rye. And we got a Four Roses Small Batch Select. Which is brand new. Yep. Brand, brand new. Mine's, mine is brand new, but it's half gone. So... <laughs> You're ahead of me. Yeah, and we reviewed this, and we really, really liked it. You haven't opened yours yet, right? I have not. And this is uh, – how? what order are we going to go in on this? I think we should go bourbon, rye, and then single malt. Got it. Okay. All right. So I'm going to pour myself a little bit of whiskey in each glass, I guess. And maybe we could do – maybe it's better to do a compare and contrast. So, okay, so we got three whiskeys. We got three candy bars. I'm just going to do a little unwrappy rappy of the candy bars. I ever told you that my favorite candy bar is the, is the Baby Ruth. Uh, that's how this all started. You suggested Baby Ruth. It is my favorite candy bar. And, and me, I like to play along. So Baby Ruth it is. So anyway, we got three Baby Ruths. We got, oh, you took them out of the wrapper too. Look at you. I did. Uh, look at you. My, my counter is relatively clean. Relatively clean? You want to wait? Enough. Nestle's going to love us. <laughs> no, they're not. Who cares? Maybe, send, maybe one day they'll we'll, one will wake up one morning on a Saturday and there'll be this big truck backing up to our in our driveways filled with loads and loads of pallets and pallets of Baby Ruth bars because we were so generous. That would be awesome. But that's not why we do this, is it? Nope. We're this is science, man. This is pure right, pure science. So the whiskey you've never had the bourbon, correct? I have not had this for roses. Do we take a bite of the chocolate? Do we take a sip of the whiskey? So we can take a bite, savor it for a sec, and then follow it up with a, a slosh of the bourbon. I was going to ask you, why do you like uh, the Baby Ruth bar? Chocolate, peanuts, caramel. What's not to like? Exactly. It's delicious. Mm, okay, I'm going. I'll take a little bite. Mm. That's pretty good. Yep. All right. You see that? Look at that. It is layers real. of flavor. Layers of flavor. So we got a little chocolate going on. I'm going up for a sip. Me too. Mm. I'm happy already. Wow. That's a pretty nice combo. 
really good. Mm. You know what's good too? The um, what is this? Fifty proof? That's a little more than that, I think. Fifty-two percent. Yeah, that fifty-two percent, right? I got a little bit of caramel sticking in my teeth. Dissolves it right away. Amongst everything else. Wow, that's okay. I'm not going to be here forever. <laughs> it is good. That's a nice combo, right? So when we've done these uh, chocolate pairings, we've used mostly dark chocolates, mm. dark dark chocolates, and then scaling them down. This is a milk chocolate, very different. Mm. That goes really nice. It mixes in really nice with the caramel and the chocolate, and just the whole combination of flavors. Mm. This is really good. You know, you, really get nice. the, you get that bourbon, vanilla-y vanilla flavor, mm -hmm, and you got the mm -hmm. chocolate and the, the nougat, oh. and the, oh, it just, oh. it works. You're hitting all my spots, bro. Mm -hmm. It's a home run. So we should have had, oh, Henry's. Wow, I finished that off. That was good. I did, too. That is delicious. That's a nice combo. Wow. All right. Shall we go for round two? Round two. All right, round two. A, this is the High West Rye. Double, Double rye. Double, Double rye. rye. All right. Back to the chocolate. Mm -hmm. Little nibble. Little nibble. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Delicious. A little whiskey. Cheers. Decidedly different before it even mixes. Wow. I'm not as fond of the rye with this. No, me neither. I like this whiskey. No, I the probably... combo is odd. A strange pairing with something so spicy. And herbaly. It's the rye. And herbaly. Yeah, with no. this really sweet, nutty uh, chocolate. Okay, well, let's not let's not do a let's go in for another one because you know you gotta oh, yeah, yeah. get the you gotta yep. get the flavor of the bourbon kind of to cleanse. I'm mm. savoring the the effects in my mouth of this uh, rye chocolate thing. Mm. I think it was just maybe the contrast. It was like the transition from the sweetness maybe to the spicy herbaly rye. Hmm. It's odd. Not as good. No. I mean, it's not terrible. That's how I think. No. I don't think it works. This would probably work better with the dark chocolate, like you were saying, though. Uh, I think you're right. Maybe like so, a bitter, like a real bitter chocolate, like yep. one with a really like a low sugar content. With a high content of cocoa. Yep. I think you're yeah. right. It might be better because that's pretty bitter already. Right. So yeah, I'm not crazy about that combo. Nope. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this little bit with the bourbon, and then I'm going to go in for the glen I will hold off. Because I'm curious about this uh, scotch. So, a little side story on the uh, Baby Ruth. Because this, this is my favorite candy bar. And when mm -hmm. my kids were all in the trick-or-treating trick ages, when they would come home and we'd make them pour out all their candy on the table and we'd have to separate, make, them make separate sure they're... The, the safe stuff from the uh, razor blades. I was, was going to say, make sure there's no razor blades. That's right. Now, did you have a metal detector or an x-ray machine? Uh, we did not. We were not rich like the, like the Gelos. Wow. Well, um, no, I, I would have thought that, you know, the satellite engineer would have access to, like, TSA <laughs> equipment. Um, hmm. We would separate all the candy out and let the kids get the stuff that they really wanted. But there was one thing that had to be separated just for Dad. Uh-huh. The Baby Ruth? That Baby Ruth bars. Mm. It was my payment for being the world's 15th greatest dad. 15? <laughs> At least you make the top fifteen. I don't think I'm in the top hundred. <laughs> well, you will be in. You'll be in the memorial part of the show. Nice, <laughs> nice. Thank you. All right, we're All going right. for the. Yeah. All right, we're hopping. So in. you know what? Maybe wait. Did you take a bite already? I did not. I did uh, not. Okay. Why don't we just do a little like maybe cleanse the palate with a little Glenfiddich and get it primed, and then prime the pump. Prime the pump. That's nice. That is a nice whiskey. Now I can, I'm, mm. I am just going to go out on a limb here and say I bet this is going to work really well together. I think so, too, because it doesn't have the – because this one, I think, has the, goes through the Solera process. That's right. The 15, so it has I a little believe... bit of the, the sherry sweetness and all that stuff. I think you're right. right. I'm, I'm going in here. Little baby root. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Did I say mm-mm? Oh, yeah. That works. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah. There's a, there's a real richness with this Lenfetic. Um, even though this is, a, this is not necessarily a rich chocolate, there's a lot of flavor mm -hmm. going on with the, with the Baby Ruth bar. Wow. I like this combo. I'd say it's, much, it's better than this. It's better than the High West. 
I'm not saying it's better whiskey than the High West, but it's a better combination. No. We didn't talk about the whiskeys. That's not. But that wasn't the point of all this. The point oh. is, I don't have the bandwidth for that. The best pair. <laughs> the best pairing. Mm -hmm. And I still. I are we are we to the wrapping up part here? I think I so. Really, yeah. Yeah, I really think that the Four Roses was the bourbon. Yeah, that, Four was the Roses. that was the winner. It really far. is a, a great togetherness mm. there. Oh boy, that's really just something special. Mm. Whereas the rye. I think that spiciness just kind of was way too bitter for maybe this rye at least was just way too bitter for the chocolate. Yeah, and I then, agree. And then that fullness and that real richness again of the Glenfiddich that that works well too, but not as well as the bourbon to nope. me. I agree. No, I'm with you. I will go. This would be. This is like an A combination. This is like an A plus sparing. The Four Roses and Baby Ruth is the clear winner. This maybe goes into the B category. This is like a B minus C plus. It just didn't work. Again, nothing against the whiskey, because I really like the double rye. But yep. the, com the combination with the with the milk chocolate and the peanuts and the caramel, that didn't work. Nope. I mean, ding 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 ding. Yep. Yes. This winner. This winner. 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 Chicken rye and rye, baby Ruth dinner. That's the one. Yep. I think so. So this was an interesting experiment. This was a good Halloween experiment. I think, kids, I think it's fun. It's fun. great for the kids, too. I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, so anyhow, all right. So for all you dads out there and moms that like a little whiskey and are stuck and the candy out, hold back the baby Ruth, grab yourself a bottle of Four Roses, sit out on the porch, and give, your, give those kids some candy. Amen. I Amen actually, is right. I would actually suggest that I'm guessing that most milk chocolates are going to go really well with bourbon. Absolutely. Yep. We have proved it. Well, we've proved this at least. Science, wow. baby. Science. It's all about science, man. You are a mad scientist. That's we us. Rocked, we rocked and rolled this science experiment, I think. All right, sir. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Cheers. Cheers.